Today I'm going to show you the easy way to create scalable designs using Adobe Illustrator. If you follow along the steps in this video, you will be able to create literally a thousand designs in just one hour. So to get started, you'll need to download these two files. There will be a download link in the description below. These are two scripts uh, that you then need to insert into an Adobe folder, and that's the one over here. So just follow this path, C drive, program files, Adobe, then this one could vary depending on which version of Adobe Illustrator you have, then go into presets, and then this here is the language. So if you have your program installed in a different language, it might say DE here for German or US for American English, and then go into script, and then paste these two files into this folder right here. Next up, you want to head over to Automate PUD. The website will be linked in the description as well, and then head to Tutorial up here in the menu and download the jobs mix of one and two words CSV file. This is just a list of different jobs. I think there's 500 in there. You could obviously use any of these other files as well or create your own CSV files with either Excel or Google Spreadsheets. So jumping into Illustrator, I've got a design ready right here which says retired zoologist. And this word down here is obviously going to be exchanged with all of the different jobs in our CSV file. A few important things to note here are that first of all, the word that you want to be variable has to be an area type. So if you're using the type tool, draw out a box like this instead of just clicking on the artboard. That's going to help us later because you might have some words in this field right here, which are longer, like for example, a construction worker, and that would obviously bleed off the edge of our artboard and look really bad. The text will be cut off. If we use the area type in combination with one of the scripts you just downloaded, we will fix that problem and uh, yeah, just save a lot of time. You might also be wondering what these boxes over here are. So this up here is the variables window and at the bottom we've got the actions panel and you can find them both up here when you go to window, actions is at the top and variables is at the bottom. We're going to need both of these later as well to create our scalable designs. And just by the way, if you're wondering where I found these sunglasses, because I didn't design them myself, there will be a link down below to create a fabrica where you can get these. I think they really suit the retired theme and match this design very well. So the first thing you want to do to prepare your design to be scaled out is click onto zoologist or your variable word, and then head over to the layers panel down here and then rename that layer to variable one. Then you want to open your CSV file where it says VAR1, change that to variable one, which matches obviously our layer in Adobe Illustrator. And instead of file name, we want this column to say data set. And yeah, if you scroll down, you can see all of the different jobs right here. And this is basically going to be the column of words that will be replacing zoologist in our design. And the data set will be the file names afterwards. You could obviously feel free to create your own lists of jobs or animals, hobbies, whatever you want. Once you're done with that, hit save, head back to Illustrator and then go over to file, scripts, click variable importer and then choose data file. Here you're going to want to click on your CSV file that you just saved, double click on that. And now you should head over to the options tab up here and where it says data set names, click assign. And here in field one, just go ahead and change that to data set because that's going to be our output for the file names. And then field two and three, just change both of those to nothing. Then if you click test data set names, you can see if it's worked and what your file names are going to look like. Hit OK and OK again, and then just click Import Variables. Now you can click Cycle Update All Data Sets, and when you do that, you can see Illustrator running through all of the different jobs and sort of previewing them to us. As we can already see right here, a lot of the job titles are quite long, so they're being cut off because the area type isn't big enough. But don't worry, one of the scripts is going to help us resize this automatically, so it's not going to be a problem. Once it's done, just press OK, and please note you don't need to do that every time, it's just to see if the input worked properly. And now up here, we've got the different variables and you can select them one by one and take a look at them if you want to. The next step is actually creating an action to now save these data sets. And to do that, we're going to need our actions panel. Just click on this little plus symbol down here, title it something like save as PNG, and then hit record. Then head over to file, export, save for web, Make sure that a PNG is selected up here so you get a transparent background and obviously make sure to select the Merge by Amazon dimensions here if that's the output dimensions that you desire. 
and then once you're finished just hit save and save this in the folder that you want to output your designs to and now since we're done with the action of saving you can hit this little stop playing recording button right here so that saves our action another important step is actually ticking these toggle dialog boxes right here so that they disappear and now we need to import our script which will resize the text for us so click onto these three stripes up here and head over to insert menu item where it says find type in deal with then just hit enter and it should autofill this with deal with overset text then hit ok and you want to make sure that this script is actually above the saving options so it checks whether the text is too long before the file gets saved now we're already in setup to save our designs and to do that once again click the three stripes here on the top head all the way down to batch and then select the action that you just created so mine's called save as png use the data sets as your source and down here you want to tick both of these boxes so override action save commands and override action export commands you want to tick those and select your output folder so just select the folder you want to save your files to in each case and make sure the file name has the data set name selected now you're ready to press ok and you can watch illustrator do all the work for you Let's just resize the first job title right there because it was bleeding off the edge and uh, once it's done that it will save the file to your selected folder. This can obviously take a while depending on how many files you have in your CSV file and also depending on how fast your computer is but if you've got a decent PC with this process you can easily create hundreds if not thousands of designs per hour. And here we go, the process has finished. And as you can see, my destination folder is now filled with literally 500 designs for retired job titles. And if I just open one of these up, you can see that the smaller words are really big and then longer words have been sized down, which is really cool. And this took about half an hour for me or for Illustrator to save all of these designs and create them. I would definitely recommend that you leave Illustrator running in the foreground during this process, because I have definitely noticed if you're doing stuff on your computer, while Illustrator is doing this, then it does slow down the saving process. Uh, it must take a lot of processing power. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can save lots and lots of time by using this method. And you might now be wondering how to upload these designs quicker since you're creating them so quickly. And to learn more about how to do this, just watch this video next where I show you how to upload a hundred designs on autopilot every single day by using flying upload.